Asymmetric multiprocessing. Asymmetric multiprocessing is an approach to distributing processing load on a multiprocessor computer, in which each processor is assigned specific tasks to perform. If you don't know, a multiprocessor computer is a computer with more than one CPU. For example, one processor might be dedicated to managing I.O. requests, another to executing network requests, another to running a user application, and so on. This is in contrast to symmetric multiprocessing, in which the operating system evenly distributes the application load across multiple processors. In SMP, individual processes are not mapped to specific processors, but instead are assigned to available processors by the operating system. A little history. For the room size computers of the 1960s and 1970s, a cost-effective way to increase computing power was to add a second CPU. Since these computers were already close to the fastest available, two standard speed CPUs were much less expensive than a CPU that ran twice as fast. Also, adding a second CPU was less expensive than a second complete computer, which would need its own peripherals, thus requiring much more floor space and an increased operation staff. Notable early asymmetric multiprocessing offerings by computer manufacturers were the Burroughs B5000, the DE System 1055, and the IBM System 360 Model 65 MP. There were also dual CPU machines, built at universities. The problem with adding a second CPU to a computer system, was that the operating system had been developed for single CPU systems, and extending it to handle multiple CPUs efficiently and reliably took a long time. To fill this gap, operating systems intended for single CPUs, were initially extended to provide minimal support for a second CPU. In this minimal support, the operating system ran on the boot processor, with the other only allowed to run user programs. In the case of the Burroughs B5000, the second processor's hardware was not capable of running control state code. Other systems allowed the operating system to run on all processors, but either attached all the peripherals to one processor, or attached particular peripherals to particular processors. To learn more about networking concepts and definitions, be sure to subscribe. It's easy, it's free, and it's just a click away. Don't forget to check our website, networkencyclopedia.com.